Saturday morning. We're just uh, dragging this blue pipe to the where the new pigs are gonna go. Ellie's helping me. The boys are in the background pushing Lottie in a pram. We've got another one to do after this, another big pipe. I didn't see the point of rolling it up. So that takes ages to roll up, then unroll it when we get to the field. So we're just walking it. Just got it to the tank. Ellie went back with your kids, I'm all out of puff. It's a fair way, like. So what we need to do is drill a hole through this, this block we made the other day, and tap it into this. Then obviously that's the mains there, what's, what's coming up. A bit of water in there, it must be coming from ground, seeping in from that side. So that's to do next week on Monday, Tuesday, something like that. But it's, it's a bloody fair way we've got to get to picks. Obviously when we get closer this way of the huts, we don't need as much length. But it's a, it's a big long length, this is from the other field. I don't know if you can see the end of the line. Oh, it's there, look. It's my finger. Morning guys, Monday morning. Uh, my dad's just gonna start mucking the four bays out. He's already got the, the class A with a muck trailer. he would be coming out with a loader. Probably the Terex, JCB's just a bit too big to get under them, under them buildings. Just got three to do because we did one last week. And I'm just setting up a power washer now um, in these buildings. I'm gonna power wash four rooms. I need to soak, well, I'll soak it with just water first. Then once I've soaked through water, I'll go in with um, some eco foam, it's called. Uh, then it's like a spray foam. You spray it all around, all around the walls, the feeders, the floors. Um, the drip, everything, everything, just cover it in white, leave it a couple of hours, uh, and then come in and just power wash it clean. But I don't know if I'm going to get around to it today because it's supposed to be a wet day Wednesday, but I'm just setting up now, ready. So it takes a while to get set up, so I've got to take the building apart and um, get the power washer in and get all set up. So, just got some spray foam because what we're going to do. Spray all these gaps there. There's a few where you can see the daylight up there. I don't think you can see it. Or is it further down? Oh, there you can see it there. But I'll do that all the way down. Right, finished. You could just see where the foam is. There was a little air gaps there. And that's why I think the pigs are pooing up the back. Just could do with a little bit more under that one there. But I've done them ones up. Need to insulate this back end as well. But I'll go uh, move that um, feeder, get another bale in here so we can push push it in, then get this sheet over. Then uh, this, is, this is nearly ready to go, but I still need to take that wall down and rebuild it and concrete that floor. So I'll probably take it up to, up to here, take all this out and rebuild it. Gonna be a, quite a big job that just putting the last sheet we've got on here we're two pieces short so i'll have to wait to the next sale to get them two pieces but, but the whole roof's done so it's gonna be a lot more waterproof than it has been so get them huts moved at end of the week hopefully uh my dad's just finished mucking these out the last little bits in the trailer uh i didn't power wash them i'll do them tomorrow morning just finished, need to put straw in the guilt yard and finishing off, obviously, the, the barn where I've just put that insulation. We're bedding this up now. I need to get my two bales in, get my sheet over, then I'm gonna put some more straw here once I know where my other bales go and a bit of straw around there. So I'm gonna drive in shed now and put it in. All done, all bedded up, nice kennel for them to lie. Keep nice and snug. Put some straw around here. I just need to ring my dad now. Just to help me with this gate again, get it hooked back on. Because obviously that's what we close to use a scrape through. Just got another mix in. Need a bit more water in that. Uh, it's just for concrete now. Uh, we've just done the wall. I'll show you when we're getting back in the building. It's not the prettiest thing you've seen. 
but it all pigs in, so that's the main thing. Um, got bedded up them two sheds, but we've got a lot load more sheds to bed up and get ready for. Move the huts this way. I wasn't here this morning, so a little bit behind, but we'll get there. Morning, Tuesday morning. I've just got these rooms soaked now. That's that white foam I was talking about, the eco foam. Um, it's just like a, a real strong uh, washing up liquid, really, what you spray on. And it just gets, leave it an hour, and it should be nice and easy to um, to wash off, hopefully. Fingers crossed, because they went out last week and it's baked on. But uh, we're going to go bed up the scrape through now. Um, walking there now my dad's already there bedding up so go get him and i'll leave that an hour we should get this done in an hour bedded up once that's done i'll go power wash just bedding up these pens now ready for the new batch we've got to pull the kennel over we've done one two three four on our fifth one so i'll just get a couple of flaps just like that and just lay them down in a pen all the way around and leave a little bit near the feeder because the straw goes in the feeder you see so i would not do it close uh, the new lights on the cerics looking sweet like daylight just power washed uh, two rooms that one's done i've got two left to do my, my lens is a bit mucky uh, i've done this room this is the first one i did obviously we need to disinfect it and um, they're just dead mice there what bear got? Done his job today. My dad's been had to be moving the huts by himself with Arctic trailer. Come to the field now. I'm going to start bedding up some of these huts. Uh, my dad's just moving, still moving the other huts from the farm. <coughs> yeah, I got that power washing done. Uh, to be fair, it wasn't too bad. Um, obviously, I gave it a good soak and used that eco foam, so that really helped. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to jump in the huts now. Uh, undo this pin. And I'll um, open open this gate. Go inwards. And now I'm in. Now I'll just go into each hut. And cut the, cut the string on the bales and just spread it out evenly but I'm going to jump up and jump out the pen and open all the backs up so I can see what I'm doing inside because it's dark and it lets a bit of ventilation in as well so I'll just lift these chains up on each one on, on that catch there here comes my dad with another hut so he, he's been dropping the trailer off unloading it himself and just putting it where we need to put it and then he'll go back to the farm and get another another hut I'll film it he'll come around oh no what's he doing I wonder if he's gonna put I wonder if we're gonna put these huts huts down that was it I've got some straw there I said to him I want to put it down and see um See if we could do it with doing the bale first. But he'll pick that up and I'll go and move a straw bale. Got these six huts in the, in the place. I'm just putting these straw bales in. And I'll push them in. Uh, then the, then I'll it'll probably be next week when I start bidding up if we don't get it done this week. But hopefully I'll we'll get a chance to do a few bales this week. Uh, I'm just going back to the stack to get some more. Uh, my dad's just gone back to the farm to get a, a couple more huts. Just come with another hut. Uh, I've got all the huts. I've got put put the divisions in, so I know which. This is one pen. Five huts is a pen, and it holds just over 300 pigs. And I've put a bale inside, and I've put a bale up the front, just so it's a bit of a windbreak. So I'll bed this up. Um, one, one another day, but because we're still moving huts, it's just coming down. Get this one set up. Get it. Get get uh, some more straw. So we've got this side done, and we've got the kennel uh, out. Obviously, we went to the field. Done that because it's going to be um, 
Heavy rain for us tomorrow, uh, thunder and lightning. So we thought we'll get these huts moved while, it, while the land's still dry on top. So we don't want to make a mess, but I've still got this side to bed up and pull the kennel over. So yeah, this side's all done. So I have to come back for a drink. It'd be a late finish today. We've still got five left to move. It's busy Tuesday. Um, but I'm gonna leave it there, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.